In this video, we're going to be installing a glue down style luxury vinyl plank. I like the glue down style as opposed to any of the floating floors that you can get. The problem is there's a little bit more work involved. You need to put a plywood underlay down if you're going directly onto the OSB or plywood and you need to patch it, you need to buy the glue. You can put this in the basement right on the concrete, but you may have to do a little bit of work to get things leveled out and smooth. So the first thing we're gonna do is start with the plywood. Before we get started, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you like these videos. I'll be bringing them out all the time. We got lots of work to do. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to hit the like button. This one here is a little tight in the back, but everywhere else is good. Instead of dragging it all the way downstairs and cutting it, I'll just use my a sharp knife. You can score it a few times, it'll cut. I'm going to do the same with this part here. So I'll just mark this out. And I'll just cut it up here. Now that the floor is all fit, the quarter inch plywood, I'm going to staple it down and on all the little X's, make sure there's lots on the outside, try not to overlap or have too big gaps on anything and we'll get to it. Floor is now ready for some feather light flooring patch. So we're gonna cover up all the joints and any big gaps. You put it on thin. If you gotta do something thick, put a couple coats so it'll dry properly. It sands up pretty easy. So we'll get to it. You're just gonna put it on nice and thin.
Okay, so I got it all in. I'm just gonna let it dry. Some of the thin areas will dry pretty quick. Issues around here I have just patched up. It's hard to get in the sand, so you just put it real thin. And yeah, this stuff I try to avoid, but you just scrape it off after. So we're gonna let that set and give it a sand. like a drywall or paint sander. All right, I need to make sure my material is going to fit under my jams, and if they don't, I got to fix them. So that fits a little snug. Doesn't fit at all. So I'm going to have to cut that one. I'll just take a scrap piece. Left over, you can even flip it over if you don't have a scrap. Use your saw. That's not a very good blade. Oof. I'm using this Mape Ultra Bond Mappy Mape. I don't know. Eco Bond 373 in the trial they recommend you use. The floor is going to tell you what glue and everything to use. So I'm going to start one corner, kind of work my way out, try not to get too many thick spots. I'm not the greatest at this. You see some guys that do this all the time. There's not me. I'm a bit of a mess maker. So when you find the staple, under stick it up. sticky a couple thicker spots that are wet but otherwise it's good to go I've cut my pre-cut my first piece try and get it in slide it under this is gonna be tricky this stuff is very very sticky everything nice and square. Stick your piece in, measure it. Right My vial is in quarters. So it's 14 and it's left on the floor. from an old floor normally I'd put a center line and chalk line it and do one half at a time and nice and straight but this I'm gonna have to get a little bit 
creative to try and keep this thing straight. So I'm going to do kind of two rows at the same time. And hopefully that works out. We'll see what happens. Just kind of keep everything tight. Usually focus on the front of the line, kind of get the edge nice. Try to put your cut edge towards the wall. If you get any glue, just wipe it off with a damp rag or a sponge. It's easier now before it dries. wet glue, just wipe that up. I don't have to do it after. You have trouble with the measure, your favorite tape measure, you can just butt this up against the wall, mark it. I always go a little bit shorter the wall, a quarter inch, you got to mark. You can just cut it. Cut it against the wall. I don't even need a tape measure. Perfect. Perfect. Offset, I'll start with the corner there. You can do a random lay, which is a lot easier and uses a lot less waste. I just like the look of this. But sometimes I'm kicking myself for the extra work. So just make sure this edge is nice. Pressure sensitive glue, the more you push on it, the more it sticks. You just keep going. So this next one I gotta cut around this wall here. I use a leftover piece of underlay, a square, and a nice sharp knife. You'll be going through lots of blades. This one's going to be How you make mistakes. It's a little tricky with this 
grainy stuff to it this way because it wants to go with the grain. Once you score it, just bend it. And it'll come apart. And you're ready to go. Now don't push your piece down too hard because you want to make sure it fits. So mine's a little tight. kicked out from the drywall. So we got 30 and 8, so I'll do around just over 30. Okay, and this way is stupid French tape measure. Cut around this vent, which isn't so bad. So my pieces are nine inches, so I'm gonna have an opening here. So I'm actually gonna cover this up and then I cut it out afterwards instead of trying to do it before. You can do it before, which is fine too. It's just how I like to do it. So I've covered this up. I'm not going to push it quite down, just in case I do have to get it up. Just take my tape measure. I know it's a 4 by 10, so it should be like 3 and a quarter. So 3 and a quarter. Mark this. Oh, it doesn't fit. 3 and a quarter. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to have to trim this after because this isn't in square. I need that when I put the we put the plywood down. I noticed this wasn't square, so the HVAC guys, they don't care, right? Right, HVAC guys? Let's 
kind of just eyeball. Yeah. The grain likes to take forever. I'm just gonna kind of, you're not gonna see this, so I'm not overly concerned what it looks like. So if I push down, I can't rip it, So, but if I push it, I can get my knife in there a little farther. It'll rip down. Watch, you don't cut yourself. Left-handed, oh. Okay. Cross-handed. There. Same thing here. Get in. Oops. Okay. So yeah, it's a little big there, which I knew because this thing's so crooked. I'll just leave it for now, get the next piece in, and then I'll fit in my vent cover after. I like to keep them a little small and trim them out instead of too big and I gotta replace stuff, which happens. Vent afterwards, so I'll keep cutting these. Ready to cut this rest of this vent. Last thing I gotta do. Width is fine. Just cut a little bit of each side. So I'll cut this side off. Just follow along the vent. to be perfect the vent's gonna cover it just try not to cut it too big that you see it
Jul. Ja, den. Well, that's it for the floor. All done in here. If you like these videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll be bringing out more. If you've got a question, leave it in the comments below. Please hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next one.